Today we're competing in a home run derby, but we can't use these. We can't use bats. We're going to pick out each other's bats. Let's go pick out each other's bats. Oh, sorry, Don't man. hit them. <laughs> Today we're competing in a three-round home run derby. Ten swings per round, most total homers wins. And as always, we're using our normal warehouse derby rules. Any ball that hits any wall on the fly in fair territory is a home run. And today we're using hit tracks, which tracks how far the ball went based on exit velo, launch angle, other science. New rule for today's video, any homer that goes over 150 feet will count as two homers. Those are the rules, let's pick some items. All right, the first item I got, Jack, was a boogie board, which I think is what you call it, but has a wide surface. I don't know if it's gonna hit a lot of home runs, but contact will be easy, which is kind of the idea for all these items. First item I got him, it's a walking stick or a staff, it's kind of, in between a watching stick in the staff spectrum. You're gonna have some pretty good exit velocity, but it's gonna be tough to swing. You're gonna have to swing it like a golf club, I think. It's like nine feet long. Next up, I got Jack a shield. I was gonna get him the Captain America shield, but I wanted to get him this Legend of Zelda shield because I know for a fact he doesn't know what it is, which is gonna be funny. Second item, since this is a home run derby, if he wants to make it rain, an umbrella. I got him an umbrella. And last up, we got his most hit or miss item in the boxing gloves. Now I got them with the idea of Super Mario baseball. Like maybe he could like swing his hand or he could do something else with it, but it will either hit 10 home runs or none. Cause I have no idea what he's going to do with them. Third item. This one uses a little bit of science, similar to hit tracks, an electric bug zapper, the type that when you're at like a lake house vacation in Maine with your dad, he pulls it out and starts going crazy on those horse flies. Got a nice barrel, good handle, and I'm thinking the electric shock is gonna zap the ball even further. Maybe. I'm gonna get my first item now. Why do people do, like my eyes are closed. I don't need to cover them. Oh. You can open your eyes. It's what a boogie board. Or a body board. Or no, I was gonna say, board. I call it a boogie board. You do too? I do. I think this is a good item for me. I think it's your best item. Nice. All right, I gotta figure out how to swing it because this way there's a lot of air drag. So I gotta find like the, maybe I slice through the air and lock it. I don't know, none of that made sense. Come on. That's a good ah. swing. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh no, okay. Good timeout. I'm hitting them hard, but just dead center dappers. Yeah, I feel like you gotta try to pull them. Oh, that's, that's not, not enough. No, Pop. Okay. All right. Messi, Messi, Messi. Messi. Ow. Okay. 0 for 5. You need a rally here. That's gone. Nice. That caught like that an airflow. That was a nice swing. 88 distance, so only one Would you homer. dare say that caught a wave? Come on. Oh, nice yeah. swing. 114. 114. Good okay. swing, though. Two for seven. Nice. nice. That got out. 94. All right. You I'm just not went hitting dead them. center with a boogie board. I'm not hitting them far, but I'll take my points. <sighs> oh, three for 10. That's the one I pimped. And no bonus points. No bonus points. Now, this might be the closest to an actual bat we've gotten. A staff, kind of Gandalf style. So the thing that separates a staff and a broom is just... The broom. I have so many staffs in my house. I, I just keep collecting them. <laughs> my house is infected with them. I'm starting to think I have a staff infection. So I don't really know the strategy for swinging this. You gotta just have great hand-eye coordination and you gotta, you have to swing it long, I think. You, I actually think the opposite. I think you Maybe. should choke up. Maybe. Oh! Did that get out? 21 exit velo. I'll take it. <laughs> nice. Oh! <laughs> you missed that by like 30 feet. <laughs> All right. Try shorten it up a little. Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh, oh. damn it. Oh, that was the pick! <laughs> It takes me so long to get my barrel through. Yeah. 0 for 7. I gotta have at least a big bomb here. Yes. 
And I think your homer could be 150. You just gotta get one out. Oh, I almost took you out. A homer salvages the round, especially if it's over 150. I think it salvages the game for me. Maybe. My life. That too. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Is that one? one six. And that's 167. Saved the round. That I'm was not so. Lie. That was so quiet. That was the most silent home run I've ever <laughs> yeah. hit, but it was kind of a missile. Yeah, it sounds like you jumped out of a tree with a katana. You can open your eyes. A shield. So this this reminds me of like a childhood night set. Do you know what it's from? No. Oh, it's Legend of Zelda. Oh. So that's why I, I might put this on my wall. Oh, that's right. that's cool. Then. It's does, actually like really cool. Does Zelda have a shield? No, Link. You kind of look like Link. Do I? But from Monsters vs. Aliens, not from The Legend of Zelda. The Missing? <laughs> this might be our first ever bat that you physically can't use two hands. I mean, honestly, if I like do that and then like <laughs> fling the ball. Hey, we'll we'll test it out. I'm definitely gonna have to pull it. And there's no way I'm hitting one 150. But, so we're gonna try to pepper the walls and put up like a nice five. Didn't sound good. <laughs> that didn't sound the best. That didn't sound promising. Hey, it did go 43 feet. Maybe I'll try to scoop it? I... No, I, go... I gotta give it a full test. Okay. Oh, okay. Foul. Yeah. Nice! That was a rip! All right. Wall scraper. You're really good at swinging non bat shaped items. Welcome to the series. No! And it, I think it's hitting this bumpy part. And like ricocheting. You mean the Triforce of Power? The Triforce of Power, yeah. <laughs> Get out. Oh! Yes. 114. 114. Okay. That's a double off the monster. Yeah. <laughs> and these stats aren't juiced at all. This is no, very real. No, these are accurate. This is hit tracks, 100% professional level, real real ability. One for six. Nice swing. Didn't I hit two? <laughs> you're right, and now you're three for seven. Three for seven. Nice job. The Can't inside. You doubted the shield. The inside is much better. The plastic's harder. <sighs> nice. Oh, oh, that's not out. That ball died. Three for eight. Yes! Oh, that got out? <laughs> that got out. Okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> it was a line out caught by the shortstop. Let's go to New York. <laughs> in our rules, that hit the bottom of the wall. That's oh, out. Oh, come <laughs> on! Dude, I like I couldn't find the ball. Yeah, that wasn't my most powerful hit. But I put up a five. Did you break it? No, you did. Um. <laughs> Let's take a quick break from all those home runs to tell you about our sponsor today, SeatGeek. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, don't worry. I'm here to tell you about it. They're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super easy. And with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek every day, including concerts, sporting events, and festivals. And if you're anything like me and you love sports, including MLB and the NBA playoffs, SeatGeek is the number one place to go to get tickets and root for your favorite team. SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal, and so do I. So when you're on their app, use your little peepers, scroll around, and look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. It's the opposite of driving. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only website that will let you return your ticket ahead of the event with swaps. The best news of all is we've got the hookup for you today. Go to SeatGeek and use code ICE for $20 off your first purchase. That's code ICE for $20 off your first purchase. Click the link in our description to download the app. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this video. So a lot of ways to use this. This kind of looks like a musket. The musket of rain protection. I actually needed an umbrella. And I, here's what I did. I didn't buy the cheap one, I got the nice one. So if you don't break it, we can use it. Dude, thank you. Yeah. Should I open it? Well, that was another part of this item. You could use it closed or you could try to use it open, but a curse will be bestowed upon you. Why? You can't open umbrellas indoors, and we are indoors. Oh, I do believe in curses. Yeah. I was born in front of the curse. <laughs> you were you? Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I was born under a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I was born a cat. I was born a cat turned to boy. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh. oh, that's over 150! 
That too! Dude, what was that? I don't know what just happened. Foul. Dude, this is an insane yeah, that's a, item. This is a good item. There we go. Okay. Did you know this item was gonna be this good? I thought it was a solid one. Come on, go! Oh. That's out. 136. 136. Okay. Three for four. That's but a But with the bonus points, this is a huge round because I was down by six. Oh. I needed that. What a rip. Okay. 144. That was close. Yeah. I immediately was like, that might have enough. That's hard hit. Yeah, let's go! Five for seven with two bonus points, making this a seven point round. I'm in the lead. You're in the lead. Oh, nice. I need one more homer to feel comfortable. Ooh. Oh, that's not enough. Five for ten, two bonus points, seven point round. That might be my highest scoring round ever. Maybe. It's close. That's good. Let me. That was much better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, it's really heavy. It is a beautiful swinging item. It's nine right. to eight. I'm down to my last round. I'm down one. You can open your eyes. This is not going to be good. This is what? I was playing Super Mario Baseball. That is good. It's a good. I'm going to Donkey Kong it. I like you the idea. Donkey Kong it. What is All right, here we go. <laughs> Wait, that's out. <laughs> That, that just hit my hand, and I just slapped it out. Hey, don't, first it was the shield, hey, it worked. and now the boxing glove. I'll take it. All right, here we go. I just, okay. Now that just looks dumb. Gosh! Give me that one. Oh. oh. Why are you so good at adapting okay. to this game? That one, that felt good. That was a tank. That's two for three, all right. Nice adjustment. If I can somehow get one of these to 150. Bad idea. Oh, that was a bad swing. Yeah. Undisciplined. Nice. Foul. Oh, foul. Nice. That is enough. Oh, wall scraper. Five for eight. That's, that hit the yellow line. That like. That was crazy. That, that curved, like, I felt like, who's this guy? That's a homer. Who's Wacky this? inflatable arm guy? No. Oh, Carlton Fisk. Carlton Fisk. <laughs> Six for nine. Ah. Foul. Okay, that's fine. Hey, huge right. round for you. 14 to nine. 14. Six for ten, I'll take that round. No bonus points. You've been living off the bonus points. I've been living off consistency and contact. All right, this, I have no idea. Is this a fly swatter? Yeah, electric. I didn't turn it on because I knew you'd probably hurt yourself. That's actually a really good point. And so this you, is like a tennis racket, Yeah. but with metal. Yes, the original idea is the, the electricity zaps the ball and makes it go further. But, but upon, you didn't give it to me. Well, upon me like, doing research, that's not, it wouldn't do anything. Would Electricity help? wouldn't help. Being the home team is awesome for you. Oh, it's I'm my helpless favorite part. now. But I, I am known to crack under pressure. You need six to win. Six to win, five to tie. Oh, Too I high. got under that, and it's already dented. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. All right, I'm gonna take a one sec. There we go. Okay. 126, one, one for free. Okay. So if it can just hold up. Yeah. This is like a race to see if it breaks. Oh yeah. Okay. One for, two for four. Two for four. That first pitch destroyed it and now it's kind of chilling. It's, it's in a good spot. There we go. 120 has been the distance on every pitch I've hit. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Go ball. That's, That's out. out. 
You're sitting at that 120 mark. Yeah, I don't think I can get enough juice on it to get to 150. I think you could, but it might break it. Oh no, why did I swing? <laughs> wow. That's out. Oh. I'm nervous. Those first homers were so effortless. The machine is not holding up. Yeah, that's fair. A homer here ties the game. A homer over 150 wins the game. Do I go for the win? I was taking that pitch no matter where it was. It's a great take. I was not swinging at that. That's a great take. For the win. No, damn it! <laughs> I always lose at these. That was a roller coaster of emotions. After it first broke, I was like, oh. I've won. And then you hit like four easy ones, and I was like, I've lost. And then I, d I didn't.